workbench. Yes. No, no. <laughs> Didn't mean to knock the tree down on myself. Hey there, everybody. This is Harley Barley. Welcome back to another edition of Starbound Fracking Universe mod. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a race mod called the Lepidoptians. Now, what are the Lepidoptians? Well, the description certainly doesn't give much, at least on here. However, on the mod itself, let's take a look. It says they are a playable moth and butterfly race based on IRL Lepidoptera, inspired by the Saturnians by Cyan Sky Knight. Fantastic mod, go check it out, which I will be doing in the future. I've always wanted to try my hand at a racial mod, and I chose moths butterflies because they are one of my special interests. This moth adds left the adopter in race, a custom flag, four sets of basic clothes, 22 antenna styles, 11 each for moths and butterflies, and 12 different craftable moth and butterfly wing back supports, which are dieable. Inspired by various real life species, customized noise, a custom sword weapon, name generation, a crafting station, furniture, and a bunch of other stuff. It says they don't have a custom ship, so they just use the default human ship. So uh, we won't be actually taking a look at a ship upgrade today. Instead, we'll be taking a look at all the other cool things that come along with these little guys. So apparently we have butterflies here and moths here. So let's take a look at the exoskeleton for the butterflies. Okay. Pretty colors. All kinds of pretty colors. I like that one. Alright. Um, let's actually see what I can find on here. Uh, okay. I'm actually able to see most of it. This is a non-binary race of diurnal and nocturnal Lepidoptera people. They got their name from their resemblance to moths and butterflies. They are known for producing silk fabrics which are sought after by other races. And that's all of it is red. All right, so antenna styles. Pretty. I like the fanned out ones. The shirt, a few different types. Leg wear. Okay, eye color. All kinds of eye color. Antenna. Shirt colors, leg wear colors, okay. Let's take a look at the moths. Okay, exoskeleton, we've already done that. Tina? They're real curly cues. Shirt, same ones. Leg wear, same ones. Okay. Let's see. I kind of like the butterflies. Mostly because of those. Those are very cute. So let's see. What shall we do? I want to make a Luna Moth kind of character. <laughs> yes, I know it'll be more like a Luna Butterfly instead, but still. It's so cute. I must. Uh, which hue is closest? Mm, that one maybe? Eh, I'll do those. Okay, shirt color. Decide on the shirt first. Yeah, that'll work. Sure. And leg wear color. Leg wear. That works. That butterfly looks so tired. <sighs> Tell you, right there, th this character right here, right now. That is my spirit animal, because my coffee has not kicked in yet. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let, let's go with my spirit animal here. <laughs> or at least my spirit animal stance. Where'd it go? There we go. Alright, let's take a look at some of the names. They're kind of cool. Do they change between butterfly and... Somewhat. A 
I thought I saw the name Lurlina, and I'm thinking, oh, the wicked references. Yeah, sure, let's do Sylvina. Sylvina. All right. Okay. Open sesame. We do get a little kitty. Which is kind of creepy considering cats usually like to eat bugs. They usually like to play with them and eat them. It just numb them right up. All right, so let's do admin cheats. And take a look, see what we can get here. Vendor's table, machining table. It's just a habit getting machining table. I don't even know why we need that. Okay. We have Lepidoptian wallpaper. Okay. A bunch of that. Uh, Lepidoptian flag. Oh, that's very pretty. Uh, let's see. Do they have a racial tech? I doubt it, but we're going to check anyway. Wallpaper molding. Okay. Can do that. Alright. I think we need to get some music going here. Let's go ahead and... It's this guy. Yeah, we can get the... Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll upgrade you so you will not fuss. Alright. Do the lefty options get their own? Nope. They do not get their own music player. Alright. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's do the slime one because that's cool looking. And also, let's see, I think I need the tinkering table. Tinkering table, yes. Yes, before we do anything else, I'm totally getting some music going. All right, fracking music. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Sure, Celtic fever. That sounds like a good one. Yep, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our personal tricorder out here. Alright, so it doesn't look like we have any sort of buffs whatsoever. This is just basically a human reskinning. So, let's take a look and see what's in the inventor's table. They said something about having their own crafting machine. Ah, here we are. Lepty Doctrine Crafter. You know what? I'm just gonna get the anvil anyway. They also said that they have, like, their own dialogue. But they don't actually seem to be able to have anything there. Like, they're not saying anything different, it seems. Alright, so we'll just put this down. Ooh, colorful candles! Incense sticks. Hanging lights! I love hanging lights. Armchair with little butterflies on it. What else? On Lepidoptians. Okay, so there's actually, uh... Thing there. Oh, all kinds of flowers. All kinds of wings. We get all kinds of wings. Oh my gosh, yes. 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 <gasps> I can have Luna Moth wings. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, those are pretty too. But I want the pretty Luna Moth wings. I am putting those on, like, right now. Where are they? I made them. Where are they at? Gimme. 
I said gimme. Okay, maybe maybe I maybe I got out of there way too fast before they could make. Yeah, that's what the problem was. <gasps> Yay! Look at me! I'm so <gasps> They even flutter! Oh my gosh! This makes me so happy! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh, this character is so cute! I wanna hug it. I wanna hug it. But all I can do is hug my microphone. There, I've hugged the microphone. <laughs> That, that is that is my hugging in spirit to this character. That is so adorable. All right, so let's see. We get a Lefty Doctrine sword, which is a puddle sword. Sweet. All right, what about these clothes? Embroidered. Cape top? Hmm. Okay. Well, those are cute, but oh my gosh, just look at these. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some of this furniture here and there. Let's see, actually, I think I need the master manipulator real quick. All right, so I'm gonna put this up here. Did we actually get a race tech? Nope. But we provide more little butterflies. Now we have our little babies everywhere. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna throw, let's see, this up uh, here. And now I'll use this to get rid of the entire background. Ah, song ended. Okay. I think we need to find another song. Let's see what else is cool in here. Dark, dark star. Um, what about that? What about this one? This one? That just sounds super cool, so yes. That's what I'm going with. Right, and now for the background. Hanging light there, hanging light there, there, there. Put a little few spaces here and there. There we go. Now that's all nice and pretty. Candle here, candle there. Machine there. Bookshelf right there. And a chair right there. There we go. It's all pretty. Looks nice. Alright, so I'm gonna get the Lefty Dopter and Sword. And let's see what else. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to pick this one up real quick. And what was it that I needed? Yeah, I need some other actual wings so I can actually fly. We're actually going to go down and we're going to take a look at what this little guy can do in combat. Oh, I already had one. What am I doing? But first... Oops, no, I didn't want to talk to you. First, we're going to read that. Come on. I want to read the book. I want to read the book. Let me read the book. I want to read the book. Why can I not read the book? But I want to read the book. Let me read the book. 
Okay, apparently I could not sit down and read. That is dumb. All right, so on Lepidopterans. Oh, Lepidopterans. A peaceful nomadic race originally from the planet Morphia, in the same galactic neighborhood as the Halotl homeworld. I actually picked, I guess, a pretty good song because I think that was a Halotl based song. In the same galactic neighborhood as the Halotl homeworld, have been traveling and living across the cosmos for eons. I guess both the galactic cosmos and cosmos flowers. So there's an unintentional pun there. For centuries, the Lepidoptians have roamed from planet to planet, never quite settling anywhere for long. Back on Morphia, the Lepidoptians traveled across continents and settled in various locations, eventually making their race varied in appearance and sometimes able to change their appearance to fit in their surroundings. At the advent of the Lepidoptian space travel, they furthered their nomadic nature by building new homes and Verdos adapted for survival in even the harshest of planetary conditions. Some clans of Lepidoptrin even forced to by other races that, for one reason or another, didn't like them. Back across the centuries, Lepidoptians took on many varied jobs, such as that of herders, farmers, potters, smiths, miners, gardeners, carpenters, and laborers, among others. They built their reputations as hard and reliable workers, eventually gaining the favor of other races they came in contact with. The closest friends of their Lepidoptrians among their galactic neighborhoods are the Glitch, Novakid, and especially the Halatl, with whom the Lepidoptians came into contact with as the first met intelligent species. The Lepidoptians get their name from humans, having a strong resemblance to Earth Lepidoptera, moths and butterflies bearing extremely similar wing patterns as that of the insects found on Earth, though with many other variant exceptions. Primarily nocturnal, Lepidoptians, called Rertia, are usually distinguished from primarily diurnal Lepidoptians, called Divia. So we're a Rertia, or Rertia, or however you would pronounce it. Rertia. We're rare. Okay by their feathery antenna. Thought Lepidopterians can change their wing patterns. Rertia and Divya do have certain preferred styles. The Lepidopterians continue their nomadic life among the stars, working and building and developing their society, carving out their existence in the universe, searching for purposes and peace. Lepidopterians have a specific phrase in their language which they use as a well wish toward others. Tavan Baxtel, which means, may you be fortunate. Which I will now leave you with, as you learn more about this varied and diverse people, hopefully with well wishes in your own heart. Tavan Baxtel. Alright. So, what we are going to do, I'm actually going to pick, oop, I didn't mean to pick that up. I'm actually going to pick up a few of these things. And, okay, we have plenty of those. Gonna take this and I'm actually gonna make some furniture. Couch. And let's see. Got plenty of hanging lights, but I'll get some more. Potted orchid. Potted petunias. Potted boo poppies. And what else? Anything else? Nah, that should be enough. And this. Get this, and then I'm gonna take a colony deed. I'm gonna take it, and we're gonna go build a house now. There's a bunch of flowers around here. This would be a good place to build a house, I think. I just need all kinds of dirt. All kinds of dirt to build this house. Oh, I fell way down into the dark unknown. I probably should have been watching where I was going. Well, um... <laughs> the start of that music was kind of ominous. It's like I, I was not expecting that. I can't remember what it- I know this is a classical song, but I can't remember which one this is. 
So uh, forgive me if any of you uh, classical composers out there happen to know what this is. Uh, feel free to let me know, will you? I did not mean to do that. Yeah, it's too much. It's much too much. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna make an entire house out of wallpaper. Because why not? I mean, butterflies have cocoons anyway, so why not make an entire house out of wallpaper? Nice little roof. We don't need much of one. Just just enough. Okay. There's that. Oh, we need a door. We need a door. We need a door. No, oh, that's an anvil. I don't need that. I need a door. I need a door, need a door, need a door, need a door, need a door. Give me a, give me a pixel printer. I can get a door that way. Gimme. What pretty door should we have? Oh! We have Lepidopteran ship doors. Okay, yeah. Well, actually, technically, we probably should only need one. If I, you know, I'll just put another wall right there. There we go. Then I should be able to put the door right there. Nice little door. I can't see in here now. I need some glass. Glass. This is not the place to find glass, apparently. Nope. I need a workbench. Workbench! Workbench! Yes. No! No! <laughs> Didn't mean to knock the tree down on myself. Also, it looks like there's two trees right there, even though it's just part of one. Okay, um, let's see if I can do this without knocking out anything else. Okay. Uh, glass blocks. Glass blocks. Um, glass blocks. Sure. Glow glass. That'll work. Okay. Now I just need to... Knock out a few blocks in the background. So I can put in the new... There we go. It's all purtyful now. Let's see. Bookcase. Right there. Put a couch right there. Put some plants up there. Put a plant down there. Put a candle on the floor because we can. And now we should be able to put in our colony deed. And hopefully we'll get a new little buddy. Yay! We have a friend! I love gardening. It's also relaxing and seeing all the beautiful blooms makes it worth it. I'm going to actually time warp forward so I can actually see this little guy in better light. Oh, come on. Time warp. I want to have light. Thank you. Pretty butterfly. Hi dear butterfly buddy. Can you say anything else for me? Nothing? Okay fine. You're going home then. I'm gonna get somebody else and see if they will say something to me. That's 
Also interesting. I don't know why it kind of does that double thing there. Pavin Boxdale. Okay. That's all that one says. Let's see if they say something else. How about you? You seem like an adventurous spirit. Alright. One more attempt. And that'll be all for today. Hey. My cousin once ate a pop top. Okay, one more. One more. One more. <laughs> I want to see if they say anything else. This is kind of addictive. I'd love to vision the ocean world one day, but that seems dangerous for someone like me. That's okay. I mean, you're living in a house that has a candle on the floor that's right next to a bunch of flammable materials. I'm pretty sure visiting an ocean world would be a little less hazardous. In the meantime, uh, that's it for the day. If you guys and oh, oh, no, it's not it for the day. I gotta try out the sword. I gotta try out the sword. I gotta try out the sword. Ah, there's a pop top. We're not gonna eat it, but we're gonna stab it. Why is everything so laggy? And that's what a pogo sword does. All right, now we're done for the day. I hope you all enjoyed that. In the meantime, if you like this mod, go check it out. It's in the description below. If there's anything else that you would like to see, any experiments, mods, whatnot, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it with all of your friends and hit the notification bell. That way you can catch the next video as soon as it comes out. Alright, this is Harley Barney, signing out.